municipalities generally, including in this area of personnel matters. I think in what I provided you, I said it's less than a model of clarity, and that's probably a somewhat generous assessment of the Alabama legislature and what they have included. And I'm just looking at personnel overall. It is a legal quagmire, so I can certainly appreciate that someone maybe had a different opinion earlier. But this Alabama Supreme Court decision that came down the city of Fairfield case, specifically dealing with municipal ordinance, where the council had adopted an ordinance stating that the mayor could appoint certain city employees and officials, but only with the advice and consent of the council, and then reserving to the council the authority to appoint other officials. And the Alabama Supreme Court quite generally said that in personnel matters, and this is generally, it dealt specifically with appointing authority, who can hire. The mayor, under a particular statute, 114381, has the general power as the chief executive officer of the city to control and supervise city employees and city affairs. And the council has limited authority in personnel matters, bounded by Alabama statutes, not by municipal ordinances, to appoint certain officials and to remove certain officials. Uh, boiled down in essence, we can go over this as the authority to appoint higher, which is what the Alabama Supreme Court specifically upheld excuse me, address. And as you pointed out in your introductory remarks, the court held that there are a number of statutory officials that by law the council has the authority to appoint. And those are the city clerk, the city treasurer. Um, those are the ones you must appoint. There are others you may create the position and appoint. And those would be the chief of police, um, the municipal judge, you're required to appoint a municipal judge. Uh, and there are others that I don't believe the city of Fairhope currently has, but a very limited number that you actually would have the authority to appoint. The mayor then would have the authority to appoint all other officials. Uh, currently, there are no other official positions that have been created by the city council. And the distinction between officials or officers and rank and file employees is not something the Alabama legislature has with any clarity spelled out. Uh, in reading the whole statutory scheme, they do at times talk about what officers or employees do. They clearly make a distinction. And my best judgment is that officials or officers are limited to those that are identified in the Alabama statute specifically two statutes, 1143.3 and 5, and then there's a separate statute that deals with the municipal judge that the council is to appoint. All others are appointed by the mayor. 